The trial is about to begin for the man charged in a deadly shooting at a Dallas hospital. Good evening, I'm Blake Hanson. A little over a year ago, two health care workers at the Methodist Dallas Medical Center were killed after a man shot them while he was visiting his girlfriend who had just given birth. The man was also a convicted felon at the time. Fox Force Alex Boyer spoke with a legal expert about the facts of the case prior to jury selection tomorrow. He's live in Dallas with more. Alex. And Blake, of course, this is a story that got nationwide attention when it initially happened. Two healthcare workers, a shot and killed while doing their job one random morning. Now, tomorrow, jury selection, as you mentioned, is set to begin here at the Dallas County Courthouse. A year after two healthcare workers were fatally shot inside of Methodist Dallas Medical Center, the man accused of killing them, 31-year-old Nestor Hernandez, is set to stand trial. Mr. Uh, Hernandez was charged with capital murder and aggravated assault on a peace officer. Russell Wilson is an attorney not involved in this case. On October 22nd, 2022, Dallas police say Hernandez was in the mother baby unit visiting his girlfriend who had recently given birth to their child. Police say he then began hitting her with a pistol he brought into the hospital with him. Reports indicated he began acting strangely indicated he would shoot the next person coming into the room. Police say that's when 45-year-old Jacqueline Pakua, a hospital social worker, walked into the room to attend to the patient. Hernandez allegedly stood up, moved towards Pakua, and shot her. Hernandez then allegedly fatally shot nurse Katie Annette Flowers, who looked into the room to investigate the sound. Part of the violent encounter was captured on a police officer's body camera. Methodist Medical System Sergeant Robert Rangel was just a few doors down investigating a stolen property call when the shooting happened. He shot Hernandez in the leg. Hernandez retreated back into the room where a standoff ensued. We can work this out, partner. All I want to do is just get the people outside, please. Hernandez was eventually taken into custody. For the, the prosecution, I think the case is, is really rather straightforward when you look at just the elements of what you have to prove. Uh, for capital murder. At the time of the shooting, Hernandez, a convicted felon, was out on parole for aggravated robbery and wearing an ankle monitor. He got permission to be with his girlfriend for their baby's delivery despite previous parole violations. Months before the shooting, Hernandez was arrested for cutting his ankle monitor off. This legislative session, two bills were passed in direct response to the shooting at Methodist Dallas. Senate Bill 1004 is now law in the state of Texas. Senate Bill 1004 criminalizes cutting off ankle monitors and Senate Bill 840, which enhances the penalty for assaulting certain hospital staff from a misdemeanor to a felony. Now it's up to a jury of his peers to determine if Nestor Hernandez is guilty of capital murder and assaulting a peace officer. The fact that you're, you know, arrested and apprehended at the scene, you're captured on camera saying these things. So I think it will make it an uphill battle for the defense. And once this jury is seated, we're told that this trial could take up to two weeks. Now, if convicted of capital murder, Hernandez would face a, a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Back to you. All right, Alex, thanks.